All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of electrical parts, which is being made by forum user Tuzonesmi, and uh, yes, what this parts pack adds into the game is something pretty glorious, and that is the ability for you to create electrically powered aircraft and I love that. Now I know that there have been multiple mods in the past that have added in uh, new batteries, electrical engines, etc. All of those seem to kind of be just side bits to larger mods. This one is one of the few that is specifically sort of honing in on electrical engines, electrical fuel tanks, and that's why I, I really like this and why I wanted to take a look at it today. So let's head on into the space plan hangar and check out all the glorious new parts that this adds in. And to do so, let's grab ourselves a little Mark I cockpit and uh, first head down to fuel tanks. Now this is kind of strange because you'd think in an electrically powered mod that perhaps all of your batteries would be in utility with the other batteries down here, but no, this adds in three fuel tanks which are also batteries. The first of which being this one meter Mark I battery tank, which is not exactly the most beautiful model or exactly the most beautiful texturing. Uh, this circuitry, in fact, is, I believe, taken from the inline stabilizer here. It's just looks like it's turned from green to blue and of course the white around the edges isn't exactly the most wonderful texture but it is worth pointing out that this is the first public release or well really the first official release of this mod previously it's just been in the development thread so hopefully in time we'll get some nicer perhaps stock alike textures for this but as for the part itself it is you know just a pretty typical little tank, but what it does is it holds 5,000 electrical charge, which is 1,000 more electrical charge than the Z-4K battery that we have in utilities. So it's, uh, it's quite an impressive battery and holds a lot of electric charge for you to power your uh, electrical engines that this mod adds in. Now the next one that we have here is just a two meter variant, which uh, similar texturing, similar modeling, really only difference here is the black bars on the edge are whiter. And this one, rather than holding 5,000, it holds 10,000, which makes sense since it is just double the length. And yes, that allows you to hold Oh god, quite a lot of electrical charge. And the last battery tank that we have is a one meter variant of the Mark II, which holds on its own 10,000, just like this two meter Mark I. And this baby, uh, once again, pretty simple model, pretty simple texturing, hopefully that changes in the future. But what is important is just all the glorious battery power that these things hold. And you will be needing all of that power to uh, basically well, power, your new electrical engines, which in this mod pack we have three new engines added in, uh, the first of which is quite possibly my favorite of the three for one simple reason. Let's attach it, and you see we have a propeller in the back. I don't know why, but that just entertains me, and also has a good sound that we'll check out on the runway here in a little bit. Uh, but yes, the ST-01 rotor engine is a pretty cool little thing. It uh, does require air intake. That is something you really should pay attention to on all of these engines. They all do still require air intake but they also all do have their own air intakes, but still it'd probably be nice to throw on a maybe perhaps an inline air intake or something else just to be on the safe side of things. Now as for the electrical charge usage, it uh, this particular one uses 0 0.075 per second max and air intake of 0.115 per second max and only produces with that a thrust of 65. Now that's pretty comparable to the Poodle engine here, which is at 60, so you aren't exactly going to be going fast, but this baby just sips electrical charge, and with a couple of solar panels, you can essentially keep one of these up in the air 
uh, basically indefinitely. We'll we'll look at that a little bit more in a moment. So yeah, it's a pretty cool little engine. I love the propeller. Always fun. Now the next engine we have is actually the first engine that was a part of this mod when it was first put in the development thread, and that's the XT-01 rotor engine, which is a uh, kind of a cool model. I do like it. It's got some good detailing to it. We've got the little lines there, the nice little ridges, etc. And you've got what uh, I guess would be like a turbo fan or something on the interior. Though one slight modeling problem, we are we, we do see through the model here. Perhaps something to fix in the future. Uh, again, not the greatest of texturing, but the model is much nicer on these. I, I quite like these models. And this one does produce more thrust than the uh, just simple rotor engine here at 87.649 thrust stationary of 60. Uh, the electrical usage is of course more at 0 0.306 charge per second and air intake of 0 0.306 so pretty one to one ratio there. Does have some gimbling it's essentially a uh, less powerful version of one of the jet engines just in electrical form and of course does have its own air intake etc uh, again a very cool engine similarly to the rotor one with uh, just a few solar panels you could pretty much keep it going indefinitely a pretty nice engine overall and the last one is basically a supersized version of the xt01 so we have the xt02 which is well, gigantic, absolutely freaking gigantic. And it produces a whopping 657 thrust, stationary of 450, but also does use a crap load of electrical charge at 4.589 per second and air intake of also 4.589. And this thing, well, it's just plain old gigantic. I honestly don't know what you'd use this engine for, but I'm sure one of you guys out there could come up with an interesting use for it, and I'd love to see it if you do figure one out. But yes, that is... Well, those are the six basic parts that are added in. Well, all the parts that are added in by this mod. And so earlier today, I went ahead and put together a couple of demonstration planes. The first one being this light prop plane here, which is just a tiny, tiny, crappy little plane using my favorite little ST-01 rotor engine. And it's a very small, very light plane, but this thing with all those solar panels can fly forever. It, it does not lose any electrical charge. So let's go take it out to the runway and uh, see how it flies. Now, one thing to point out, of course, with the low amount of thrust on all these engines, you aren't exactly going to be breaking any speed records with these, but that's not really the point of these engines. The point of them is to be able to, say, send a drone up to Duna and have it be able to fly around indefinitely collecting data. Now we have accelerated pretty quickly, though again this is kind of a light aircraft and I haven't even pulled up. This is just naturally getting its own lift here with this design, so quite, quite nice. I am happy with it. And let's give it a little turn. I think one of the reasons this engine, this particular engine, is my favorite in the mod is purely because of the sound. You're getting that just fun little kind of crappy puttering sound which is just kind of amusing. So let's just take a listen to that for a sec. It kind of sounds like my lawnmower. <laughs> and I don't know why, but that amuses me that we basically just have a lawnmower strapped to the back of a plane. And uh, yes, it's, it's, a, it's a fun little engine. I do quite like it. And as I said, with just these couple of solar panels, we are losing absolutely zero electrical charge on this thing. It could quite literally just continue flying forever, and I'm sure Jebediah would be just happy as a clam to go and do that. Now you'll notice our speed is kind of leveling off here at about 210-ish. That seems to be roughly the max speed of this engine with this particular plane, and I wouldn't imagine that with many other planes you'd get much better with it, but it is a nice engine nonetheless, definitely not built for speed, it is built for longevity, for this to circumnavigate a planet or circle around for hours on end collecting scientific data. But yes, let's revert back to the space plane hangar and go and take a look at the second aircraft that I made, which is just the light prop plane again, but I took off the prop and added on the... Uh, XT-01, which is a little bit faster, but again, still not a huge amount of thrust. This 
This particular engine is roughly half of the most basic jet engine available. So, once more, not gonna be winning any speed competitions with it, but it is beautiful. And now for this one, for its sound, well, let's just take a listen. It basically just sounds like you're winding up a small hand crank generator. It has just this light hum, which I, I, I quite like actually. It's always something that's always a little bit annoying for me. I'm constantly adjusting my sound levels in this game so that my headphones just aren't blasting my ears to death with the sound of various engines. This one, the sound of wind against the aircraft on a tight turn is actually louder than the engine itself. So it's kind of a kind of a nice change of pace in my opinion. And this one, it gets up to, I believe, around a top speed with this particular aircraft of about 240-ish, I believe. Uh, but again, with absolutely zero loss of electrical charge. This thing, a little bit faster than the propeller engine, but uh, similarly will be able to fly forever. <laughs> Just keep having this baby go along until you inevitably crash into a mountainside perhaps, uh, but you can get this one a little bit faster. And yeah, a, quite a nice little engine. I quite enjoy it, but let's Revert. Well, actually, we'll go to the space center and yes, leave anyways. It'll be on the runway and load up one final sort of craft file that I made to take a look at that giant freaking engine. I made this monstrosity. It's really the only thing I could think of to build with this just ginormous electrical engine. So let's throttle it up and activate and you'll notice the thrust just skyrocketing there we're already almost up to 200 kilonewtons and we can actually probably unhook the clamps and we should oh yep there we go we are in fact lifting off so yeah this engine is actually pretty impressive it uh could potentially you could actually make this as like the bottom stage of a rocket so you could have a uh first stage electrical engine, perhaps. I think that might be entertaining. We are getting up to a pretty decent speed that seems to be maxing at about 300-ish here. Of course, we are going straight up into the sky. And now this one, I have no electrical charging capabilities on this one, so no solar panels or anything like that. So we are seeing that the charge is going down, but with all the batteries that are on here, this thing could go for a while. Granted, it'll go for as long as it'll have atmosphere for the engine to actually work off of. The air intake is already half, really, of what would be ideal. So it's actually probably going to flame out soon and then come crashing down to the earth. Oh, poor Bill, you are going to die, my friend. Uh, but yes, that is the electrical parts mod. It's a very cool one. I, I really enjoy it. I love the engines, especially the smaller ones. I'm still not entirely sold on this ginormous engine here, but the two smaller ones are beautiful. I can definitely see myself sending a robotic drone out to Duna with one of those for it to just circle taking mystery goose samples and different biomes, etc. I think it would be quite cool indeed. And yes, if you would like to try out this mod for yourself, you can always check the link in the description as always, and I really hope you do. It is very fun, very entertaining, and I always love the addition of new parts into the game, and I hope you do as well. So yes, that is going to be it for this episode today. I hope you all have enjoyed and of course that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching my friends and as always, have a good one. Now uh, I'm gonna quit out of this before Bill has his demise. I just, oh no, actually I did remember to put parachutes on this. Bill, you'll survive! Excellent! Alright, later folks!